What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Toronto and this is Toronto Racing. Now in today's video we're going to try something that I don't think anybody has really tried before. But we're going to take one of my uh, OEM Dodge Demon wheels and put it on a Aero Body Challenger. Specifically we're going to put it on my friend Chris's Challenger. You might know him from my Instagram at challenger underscore RT underscore. And the idea came from will that wide body wheel fit an Aero Body? It looks like it could possibly fit uh, I never actually test fitted it with a tire, but when I test fitted it on my car when it was still an aero body, you know, it, it poked out tremendously. And actually this morning, one of my followers on Instagram messaged me and asked me if um, I had to modify my knuckles on my car. So that's another very important piece of information. So anyways, uh, Chris should be getting here any second now. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on outside and take one of my uh, demon wheels off my car so we can put it on his car. So let's get started. All right guys, so once again, uh, something to note here is I have a 09 SRT8. So on my SRT model, my Brembo's are a little smaller than the 2015 and up SRT models that have the 15 inch Brembo's. So again, mine are smaller, so they clear the smaller uh, diameter of the Demon wheel. So if you have a scat pack, you'll actually have these set of Brembo brakes and they'll be able to clear the demon wheel. But if you have a SRT 392, the SRT trim level, you'll have the big 15 inch Brembo's and they won't clear. So that's one thing right there is brakes. The other thing I mentioned was the uh, knuckles, of course. So my wheels don't rub at all. Um, I'll try to get a clip and put the camera in behind here so you guys can see the clearance. You can see no spacer. You, um, you might've been able to tell in the time-lapse video. There's no space drawn here. I didn't take anything on, put anything off. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get a picture of this to compare it to the RT knuckle. So I know that's one big question is people are wondering if the OEM Demon Wheel will clear this, uh, clear the knuckle on the RT models. So we're about to find that out today. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we got uh, Chris's wheel off. Uh, he had a spacer on there. You might see in the time lapse, we had a little trouble getting it off, but we got it off. And uh, just looking at it firsthand, I mean, it doesn't really look any different. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive in and uh, see if this uh, demon wheel will, will clear this back spindle right here. And the good thing is that we're, for the most part, we're on the same uh, setup here. He's got BC racing coilovers. I got the same coilovers on my car. So we're just gonna see if uh, it'll clear that. And the other difference is he's got the RT brakes versus the uh, Brembo's. So let's, uh, let's get in there and put this wheel on, what do you say? I say don't judge too harshly on my two inch spacer and my busted up brake. <laughs> but the other thing is, you know, a lot of people say don't run spacers, it's not good for you. You've been running spacers for how long? Oh man, years, years. I've gone up from, all the way up from like a 10 millimeter with no hub centric and no bolts, which was very stupid and you should not do it all the way to an inch, to an inch and a half. Now I'm on these two inch ones. They were great, no vibration. Toronto can tell me the lugs were tight as hell. Yeah, we had trouble with that too. And I've actually driven his car, so uh, it was definitely a smooth ride. So I just think spacers are, man, if you install them wrong, you're gonna have issues. If not, you, uh, you'll be you'll be just fine. But let's get back to uh, putting this wheel on, so let's try it out. This tire is so fat. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. You get it? Yeah, they, they, they fit. I told you. I told you, man. Oh my Dude, God. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. With the me. right tire? Come With on. the right tire. Let's jack up the car a little more. I wanna get off the driver's side here. Leave it right, right there. Dang, 
That. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so, oh my god. I am blown away by this right now. So real quick for comparison, I'm gonna show you guys the clearance on my car, uh, the SRT with the Demon wheels and the 315 tires. So let me show you the clearance in the back. All right guys, so as you can see in the video, with this thick of a tire, it clearly does touch the upper control arm. But we think with a smaller tire, uh, a narrower tire with a less aggressive sidewall should be able to clear it. But now we've seen some photos on the internet where they're on the rear of the car, wide body wheels on the narrow body Challenger, and they stick out dramatically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another wheel off of my car and stick it on the back of this car so we can see how that looks. So. Uh So far, it looks like it's fitting just about the same as the front one. So let's see what we can uh, work with here. Uh, sitting flush. Uh, let me get the camera back here and see. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's touching, man. Looks like it's just gonna be that sway bar that's gonna come close. Uh, okay, so I'm touching the sway bar now. Uh, let's look on the inside. Uh, no, see, everything is clear. I don't know, man, it looks like it might be a good fit. Again, the only issue being the extremely fat tire. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw some lug nuts on here and then uh, we'll lower the vehicle and see how this rear tire fits. I mean, from now, I mean, the car is up in the air. It is sticking out a little bit, like we see in the photos, but the final say so will be once we lower the car. So let's go ahead and do that. So we lowered the Challenger on the wheel and tire now. And again, as you can see, I'm gonna give you guys some angles from the top, uh, from back here. And of course, here down low, it does stick out uh, quite a bit. But again, this is a very aggressive tire with a very aggressive sidewall. So I don't know, what do you think, Chris? You think with a less aggressive tire, we can get it to sit? Uh, tuck in a little bit. Oh, we definitely get to tuck in. I mean, it's 315 right now, but if you were to go down to a 295 and bring that sidewall down to a 35 or a 30, you'd get a nice slant that would line up good with the fender. And you know that really aggressive stance. You'd probably still have a bit of poke, but it would look good. I mean, I've seen Hellcats running this same kind of size setup. It doesn't bother a lot of people, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think it looks really cool. Uh, the front tire's kind of sticking out, but you guys know I like that pro touring. Uh, autocross style of muscle car, uh, but I, I actually kind of like that. I think he might be onto something with a smaller tire. Uh, like he said, get it to slant up and tuck in there. Um, the only other issue again was, you know, that front knuckle. So, yeah, there's that. All right guys, so he, uh, Chris here told me that I need to get this on camera on confession because when he pitched the idea to me, hey man, we should try putting these tires on my car and see how it looks. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, yo, that is not gonna work. Like, they're gonna stick out so far. Um, and as you can see, they really don't stick out that far. And it might just be a matter of getting the right size tire to get these to um, kind of tuck in and fit a little more flush. So 
I think he's thinking about getting some a set of demon wheels and maybe running different tire sizes to see what he can do. Um, but I'm in love with the, the black look, the black wheel, the black car. I think it looks absolutely killer. And as you guys know, I already mentioned it, I love the autocross muscle car look, and this definitely pulls it off. So the next thing is, the next test I think we need to run is in fact, can we run these wheels with a smaller sidewall and maybe a less width tire to clear that front knuckle? So maybe uh, that might be some more videos we come out with in the future. As you could see, it is a very, very tight fit. Um, and I'm not saying go out there and do this, take the video, take the information and uh, make your own, you know, make your own educated uh, choices here. So, but some very important pieces of information that I was talking about in the very beginning of the video, uh, as I mentioned, the knuckles on the car. So I'm not gonna say challenger specific, I'm just gonna say knuckle specific because I know there's people out there that have changed their knuckles. So the Dodge Demon wheels, will fit SRT knuckles from 08 to 2014 with that smaller four piston Brembo brake. Now, the SRT Demon Wheel does clear SRT knuckles, but 2015 and above SRT models have the 15 inch six piston Brembo brakes and the wheel will not clear those Brembo brakes. As you can see in the video as well, the wheel itself will clear RT knuckles with RT brakes but the tire choice is a completely different thing. Um, obviously we still have to keep testing and fitting these things to figure it out. Um, but back to the knuckle thing, SRT, uh, I'm not gonna say SRT, the Scat Pack models with the four piston Brembo brakes have the same knuckles as the SRT and the wheel will clear those as well. So as long as you have the four piston Brembos and the SRT knuckles, the wheel with the 315 tire will clear. Now, if you have an RT with RT brakes, um, that knuckle uh, and tire clearance is where we start running into issues as you guys saw in the video. So that's some very uh, important pieces of information. Uh, another thing you can do, and I see plenty of these parts all over Facebook Marketplace, are the SRT knuckles and Brembo brakes. Uh, some, you know, they get them off a wrecked car and they sell them for like maybe five to 600 bucks. So, and you can just get the front Brembo's. So that might be an upgrade to consider as well. So if Chris does decide to get the Demon wheels and he tries uh, different tire sizes on there, the narrower tire and a tire with a smaller sidewall, I'll be sure to film it and continue to video and capture the results. Um, but I think it's actually really close, uh, really close fit and I think it can be pulled off. So until next time, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you love this video, hit that subscribe button. And if you want, you can leave a comment below. So until next time, guys, peace out.